And this is OBS Studio. It's the free software you can use online to do fancy stuff uh, like these lower thirds. Uh, and I want to show you how to do one of these lower thirds. Now, you're going to start with uh, a, a source list much smaller than this. This is my scene that I use. Over here in the bottom left are the scenes. And you might see it like this initially. It's a list. I switched mine to grid mode. Either way, here are your scenes. This scene is populated with a lot of layers. I'm going to switch to this scene, which has fewer layers. This is more like what you're going to have once you get your OBS set up, maybe just a camera, a microphone. You probably won't have Lester. Um, and what I also want to do, though, in this case, is in fact, turn Lester on. This is Lester Holt from NBC News. Last week when I talked about uh, the surveying of head heights, this is one of the ones I use. Notice his head is about 50% the height of the screen and maybe 10 or 12% from the top. Uh, he, incidentally, is uh, one of the few anchors that does not have a lower third at the bottom of them. So I'm going to use that as the background so it doesn't, uh, so my movement doesn't, distract. And here's how to do a lower third in OBS. So whatever scene you're working on, you have a list of sources here. Uh, in Photoshop, they would be called layers. And that's what I might end up calling them because that's what I'm used to calling them. Here you have to add a new layer or add a new source. Let's start with that. And we're going to do a color source. I'm going to call this uh, bar because it's going to be a bar across the bottom. Uh, click OK, and that's just naming the source you're going to, uh, the name of the source in the uh, source list. Now I need to pick a color. I'm going to pick some blue. Uh, anyway, if you know the use saturation and brightness or RGB values, you can do this or just pick a color here. So I'm just going to pick a color from this color picker. Click OK. Now it's blue. Click OK. Now notice it is huge, uh, much bigger than I need it to be. Uh, you can size it down by clicking on the handles. Now, this is different than Photoshop. Uh, if you don't hold Shift, it sizes it proportionally. If you want to size it disproportionately, you have to hold the Shift key and grab one of the handles. And I'm, again, holding the Shift key and dragging the handle. Now, I've let go of the Shift key. I'm just going to drag it up to about where I think I want it. Now I want to put text on top of that. Again, in the sources list, click plus to add a uh, source. Now we're going to do text. And I'm going to call this name. Again, you can name it whatever you want. It's just the name that's going to show up in the source list. Click OK. Now text in OBS is a little clunky. Uh, it's, this is just how it works. This is what you're going to have to put up with. I'm going to type my name, pipe, paste setter media. Now you can see behind the text editing panel, it's gigantic. So you can select the font as well as the size, and you're just going to have to experiment some with what works. I know that 110 does not work, but I'll just show you anyway, just the process you have to go through to resize it. You, you do a test, try a size, doesn't work, come back in. I'm gonna go with 55. Click okay. Now you have text about the size you want. You'll play with it, change the font, uh, change the color if you want, and then just move that down to the bottom. And here's a cool trick, right click, transform, Center horizontally, now it's centered on the screen. One other thing I would do with these, I just because right now I can turn my name off and then turn the bar off, you know, only one at a time. Click on name, shift, click on bar. Now both of them are selected, both sources in the source panel. Right click and choose group selected items. And here you can name this group. and I called it lower third, and now they're in a group, and I can close that group, and now with one click, I turn the uh, lower third on and off. By the way, I've kept my 
name and company towards the middle. I found in some systems, uh, you get the sides of the video get cropped off. If that happens, I still want my name and uh, company to show up. And one other uh, extra you can do, you can also do a fancier background. And OBS is just a solid color. I created uh, a bar that looks a little fancier. It's an image. Uh, I'm going to call this source lower bar. And I'm just going to add an image to the sources and click OK. In OBS, you now have to tell OBS where to find that image. Click, I click Browse. You'll have to find this image on your computer, uh, wherever you store it. Click OK. Now I've got a fancier bar I can put behind my name. Can I have to resize it? Move it into the proper place. Now notice bar, lower bar, which is the image, is above the lower thirds group. I'm going to drag this into the group. In fact, below name. And now I can turn off the simple color. Now I have a slightly fancier lower third. And that's the quick of it. That's how to do a lower third in OBS software. Check uh, Paysetter Media later today. I will have uploaded there some uh, some fancy bars you could use of different colors. That same bar you just saw, I will upload it with different colors. You're welcome to download those bars and use them in OBS software. That's how to do a lower third in OBS software.